Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you for the testimony. My question uh, goes to the issue of uh, computer technology. We have, those of us that have been around state government a uh, very long time know that there's been lots of different systems, a lot of different um, upgrades. And so what I'm, I just have a couple clarifying questions. And that would be the fact that um, many years ago we had talked about the ability to cross-reference um, if someone was receiving a check back, a refund, but yet owed in another in another way. So if the, they were do a refund for their CNI, um, but yet they owed in sales or they owed in, in some other form, um, do we have where those um, entities are talking to each other that they do not receive that refund and it is accredited to uh, what it is that they are owed in another area? Yes, that's in place in our business tax systems. Okay, so they talk to each other and they, they know what's going on. Is that um, if, a, if a private entity or a personal does that apply with PIT and if that is owed and if they owe something else like with their business, that doesn't cross reference, does it? Um, it depends on if it's a delinquent uh, okay. account or not and if it's gone past the appeals period. Okay. And then um, along that same line with the uh, uh, proposals with the lottery, uh, the same thing. I know there's been a lot of proposals that for winners of lottery um, that they do have checks with whether they owe child support, whether they have back taxes, whether they have those types of things. Do we have, what and in place, what do we have in place right now that if someone wins a substantial amount through the lottery that we are checking what is owed to the state in other regards? We have the child support offset in effect right now and we also check the um, tax status of all lottery retailers prior to uh, reinstate prior to licensing them and prior to um, renewing their licensing. Okay, that's the retailers. I was referring to those that win. So if, we, if I go and luckily win $20 million, but yet I owe the state of Pennsylvania because I haven't paid taxes in 10 years, um, do you validate that they're up to date? Not as part of the award, the award process, but um, we can look at those records after the fact as part of our personal income tax review. The only ones that we withhold from prize revenues are um, child support. Okay, so if I did owe that then, and I'm, I'm sorry, I don't misunderstand then, so when you write the check to them, however they decide to take the win, um, the winning money, whether it's a lump sum or, or whatever, um, so they, you do not then check if they owe back taxes. Is that what you're, did I understand that correctly? Personal income tax? Right. Any no, tax, anything. No, no. Okay, so we need to do that. Okay. Um, we okay, don't want to hold up the awarding of prizes too long. We have the information on the prize winners and we can check it after the fact and pursue them for collection. We don't have to necessarily withhold it from the prize. Well, I guess I, I would disagree that if they haven't paid thus far, um, the likeliness of you being able to go after them and collect it, I think if they haven't been willing to pay it honestly up until that point, I don't see that they're going to change their ways necessarily. And if we have those dollars already in our hand, I guess I would say wouldn't it be more productive so that we make sure we get the money that is owed to the state, not only on the, the um, you know, whatever they have owed in the past. So. Well, and on the winnings, because we're now taxing lottery winnings and we'll be withholding taxes for that purpose from them. So it would be something that could be done all at once then. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman.